are back here on Fortress World and today I want to continue working on our nether tunnel and you will see behind me I added a few more blocks there to make that a little bit wider and meet up with my tunnel um, a little better I guess is, is the word I want to use um, so last time we worked on the basalt delta I got that done and you'll see that I don't know if you noticed when I turned around a while ago there's a slime that's hot or a magma cube that's hopping around in there he spawned in there I got a name tag uh, Medrix brought me a name tag and I name tagged him so we got a little little friend in the basalt biome and I got a couple piglins in there that I've also named there he is but anyway, so I am going to just go ahead and get started. So I will see you in a few.
Okay, um, you just saw a time lapse of me working on a couple of different areas, and I just wanted to kind of bring you in and show you what we've got done so far. So, in the last episode, we worked on this. We got this all done. Like I said, I got a little friend in there. This side here is still needs worked on. Um, this is where I'm going to put Soul Sand Valley. Um, I'm hoping that I'll be able to get a little help because um, I kind of wanted to put the mobs that spawn primarily in that biome in each section. Um, like I said, he naturally spawned in there and I just name tagged him. So I'm hoping I can get some help or get someone to maybe collect a couple skeletons to put in there for me. Um, so that's not done. And then here's our piglin friends. They're taking a bath in lava. They just kind of been hanging out there. And then I decided to put a partition in between because at first I wasn't going to. And then I thought, no, I want, because our little magma friend kept going into the warped forest area. And I thought, no, I want him to stay on this side. So I decided to put a glass partition in in between. So this is our worked forest area. I'm not real good terraforming and that kind of thing. So I did the best I could. I started to put um, nether brick in here, but I didn't like it. It was, it was just too dark. So I decided to use some of the warped stem for the background and then I used the nether or the warp block stuff on the top and I caught these guys uh, last night. So yeah, I see you pointing your, your crossbow at me and um, I threw them in here uh, just for some friends and I see we've got a, a, a zombie pig one in there that spawned so these guys and I don't care they can spawn in and out all they want it doesn't bother me um, I don't want to have too many mobs in there so I'm just gonna name two and then if there's people hanging out in the nether doing stuff and they spawn that's fine no big deal because all these spawn and then this side and I got all this glassed in to overlook the nether wastelands and every once in a while, you'll see a gas flying around. Um, at first, I had that as, um, well, I did stone, and I didn't like the way it looked um, for overlooking out. And then um, I had it all another rack, and I'm like, I don't really like the way that looks. So, being that you can see it from this side, uh, that back side is all... Uh, another rack but I decided to go with another brick there just so it looks kind of like maybe a fortress right there I don't know I just I didn't like the the nether like rack or the stone um, so that's what I did I see I left a little stone right there I try to leave a ledge down here just in case I needed to go out and fix anything like that right there I'll probably change to another rack where that stone's at and this wall down here will probably get changed out to another run. I want to try to make it look as natural as possible. And then you can see there's another tunnel over there. I cleared out a lot of this. Um, another thing too, I wanted to kind of go back through. And over this lava, I wanted to add in a couple of uh, lava falls. Um out here I should have done I was meant to do it before I cleared it all out and then I forgot to so I still need to work on that um, this section here I decided I want to make because we only have there's five biomes so I've got three um, with the natural one that we're in and then those two down there so there's our five so I thought this wall here um, also because it's not as big dude I'll show you here in a minute but I thought about putting uh, a mock-up of another fortress right here 
And then back here, I changed this a little bit. Um, I changed that ceiling. I like it better than what I had. And then I chained this out for glass panes and put the basalt, polished basalt around to make like windows and window framing. And then left the, um, the bottom open. So I used glass there. And it's funny because I come to this corner. That lava is right up against this glass. And I come to this corner and I raise up. It's kind of weird. But I wanted to put some more of those lava falls out, out down the way a little bit. But now you can see out here better. You can see down. Um, every once in a while you'll see maybe some piglins and hoglins down through there. And that's the other thing too. I want to put in the crimson, uh, capture a couple of hoglins and put in the crimson biome. So we're talking about this. This is going to be our fortress salon. I still need to dig it out. And then this tunnel here leads over to the old CJ base and the piglin farm. I have the CJ base. Um, I'm going to do something with it, but I haven't quite decided. But I, instead of running down one tunnel and up the other, I uh, dug a tunnel out through here. Smedrix redid the piglin farm. I came through yesterday, or let, yeah, sometime yesterday, lowered this floor and put glass over it just so it's safer. Smedrix lowered down the portal, which is fine. I don't have an issue with that. It, mainly because this, this room looks awesome now. He did a real, I really, really like this design. And then our piglins are back here that you can barter with. So, I'm not sure how it works yet. I haven't been over here. I haven't read the signs. Not due to a bug, piglins won't always pick up gold. See storage. I'm pressing pictures of the gold one need to be received. Okay. Yeah, which makes sense. So I guess this is the input. Yeah, input gold lever down equals system on. So I assume you just put your gold in there and then it dispenses it to the piglins. And then he has a, this is all a sorting system now um, outside of these here. So we'll just have to manually, I think, manually put stuff in those chests. So. Um. Okay, so this is where your gold goes that sneaks past the system. Keep or put back in. Please, and this is the non stackable stuff. Please sort non stackables into the chest to the right, which is these are all non stackable. So, um, and I kind of put that in, started to put that in just because I was trying to clean up some of the chest and make them a little more organized. And then Smedrick redesigned it, which is fine. And you can we can take a whole shulker if we choose to do so. So if they're full, we can take a whole one. And that's my thing. I need I am going to need a lot of soul sand. Well, yeah, soul sand and soul soil. But I'm thinking I could do, maybe get away with doing netherrack underneath and just putting one layer over the top. We'll see um, when I decide, when I get around to doing that. It may be a bit over time before I can get to that, um, to get that section done just because of the sand I'm going to need. Um, I don't have a whole lot of diamonds, but I think Puma sells some, so I may get with Puma and see if he will... Um, make a deal with me on that. So, Smetric started a little bit of this tunnel. And I think it came to like right here. I like this design, so I just kept it and just went all the way down with it. And I moved this up one to, so it would match up to my stairs here. So, and I don't think, I, I like it. it. It looks really good. And then I just kind of carried it around the front since this wasn't that wide here. Um, just carried it around the front a little bit. So, I just noticed I had used basalt there for the window framing. So, I'll have to take these blocks out and use polished basalt um, where that black stone is behind. Once I dig all that out. And then down here is our crimson forest and I designed it pretty much the same way as that 
um, using the warp, nether warp blocks and then the stems in the background. Um, I did was able to get some of the, the vines and added those in. And I want to add some of the, the green vines in this one. Um, if I can get, get a hold of some, I will do that at some point. Um, but I don't think it turned out too bad. Like I said, I'm not real good with terraforming, but it, it didn't turn out too bad. And then, like I said, our soul, soul sand valley will be right here when I get the sand that I need to put in it. Um, I will probably do the ceiling out of uh, soul soil. Um, the wall will probably also be soul soil, I think. Or no, soul sand. I'll do soul sand. Um, that's probably what I'll do. Maybe. Or I might just leave. <clears throat> I could probably just leave. <clears throat> now that I took the ceiling out and I get to um, thinking about it, I could probably just leave a netherrack ceiling. I think it would be okay. And probably just leave the walls as netherrack. Um, I don't know. I'll have to go back and look at... Um, see if I can find a video on that particular biome or some pictures on that particular biome and see what it looks like. Um, and then just go from there. But this is our channel this far. Um, I think what I'm going to try to do is get this last section done that I can do right now and get our little fortress in there. And I've got plenty of nether rack. I might have to smelt, go back and smelt some more so I can make more blocks. But and then floor, I don't know yet what I want to do with the floor or with the ceiling. I do know I need soil soil um, to go down the center here because I don't have that. Uh, I only had a few pieces of it. So that's either means I need to go buy some or I need to um, go find some and I'm not too keen on going and finding any. I was just sorry. I kind of got distracted. I was, I was talking there. I was just thinking maybe, maybe the floor, I just carry out the biome. And on, so like on this side, maybe I make it mycelium maybe or the 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 floor block through here with glass over top of it maybe yeah when i say i got a uh, magma that spawned in there um that's another thing too i would gosh that's a big one um another thing too is i would like to get a couple of striders to put in probably the basalt delta um, I know that's huge. There's a little one. Of course, um, that means I'll have quite a few mobs in, in this one. Um, the crimson one, I think I want to get put the hoglins in there. And then, like I said, and the skeletons in there. I don't think I want to try to catch any weather, weather skeletons or blazes to put in the fortress one. But maybe I can talk somebody into getting this for me and putting them in there. Maybe. But I don't know how difficult that would be to do. Okay. Anyway, I think I am going to um, leave off this clip and get started on this uh, fortress design. And then maybe... While I'm working on that, maybe I can come up with a design for the, the ceiling and the um, floor. I know I want to use shroom lights for lighting. I ain't quite figured out how to do it. Probably down the center. And I'm trying to decide if I want to put something above 
the stairs there or beside it. I don't know. I'll come up with something um, eventually. I like to get this done. I've already spent two episodes and I spent all day working on this. But anyway, I'm going to cut this clip here and I'm going to get started on this little fortress area and we'll see how much we can get done before I run out of time for this episode. Okay guys, this took me a lot longer to do than I thought it would. Um, I did record a little bit of the last section I worked on, but I kept forgetting to hit record. So I'm just going to run down here to the end. I'm not going to do another tour basically of the tunnel since I've already done it. Um, but I want to just kind of run down here and show you uh, what I did since I forgot to record a lot of it. So this is basically the nether fortress that I put in. Um, I did put like three chests in there, but there's nothing in the chest. It's just for look. Um, added a little bit of glowstone that I could get. It's probably not the best design, but it works. I decided to leave the top nether rack. Um, I had thought about putting in these red nether bricks, but I didn't. I just left it as glowstone. I thought it, or left it as glowstone, left it as netherrack. I thought it worked. Added in a couple little lava, um, partly for lighting and partly because you do find lava sometimes flowing into the nether. So I changed out the car the buttons for carpets just because the carpets look better than buttons. I really want a dark gray carpet, but light gray works. Um, by the colors I had, that was probably the best color that I didn't have to use dye to make. So um, I went down and looked at the other end of our main tunnel, and I seen that Mike P's got a tunnel down there. It looks like that. He or somebody cleared out the top, the ceiling part of it, so I'll probably work on finishing, uh, extending the tunnel uh, off camera. You've already seen me work on it once. I've spent two episodes on this one, and I'm still not done. still have uh, the ceiling and the floor to do and one more biome, so those I'll probably, I'll probably just finish this off camera, and then once it's done, just kind of do a quick tour to show you the, the completed tunnel um but right now guys i think this is where i'm going to end this video because this is taking way longer than i thought it was going to and my video is probably going to be a tad bit longer than normal i'll try to cut bits out that isn't necessarily important but we'll see how that goes so anyway guys uh i'm gonna end it here and we'll see you in the next one bye